Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD. And yes, you got this far with Smart Deploy, so it's time to put everything together and create a deployment package. So let's get to it. Okay, so creating a deployment package within Smart Deploy should be super simple if you have been following along my mini series. So within your Smart Deploy console, we are going to click on Reimage Devices. From here, we are going to pick Create Media. It's going to start loading up, and you're going to get the Media Wizard. Click on Next, and you have four options. Now, these four options, I am going to touch base later on, but for now, we are going to focus on deployment package, and we are going to click on next. From here, we are going to select our platform packs. If you have more than one, by default, they're all going to be selected, or just pick the ones that you want to deploy out. For this example, I have the 7450 all-in-one packs that we did together, so I'm going to click on next. And we are going to pick our custom answer file that we did not too long ago. So we are going to click on browse and then we are going to locate our XML file. I'm going to select my smart deploy XML file and then click on open. From here, I'm going to click on next. From here, you are able to hit on the drop down menu and pick a smart PE 64 bit or 32 bit. For this video, we are going to focus on 64 bit and then click on next. Provide your deployment package a name. This is what I'm going to provide it and then click on next and then hit finish. When you hit finish, it's going to start creating the media for you. Uh, the first step will be extracting the smart PE. It's gonna start updating the smart PE. It's gonna mount the boot image. It's gonna process all the drivers from your platform packs into the media. It's gonna start adding all the drivers. It's gonna start committing all the changes. It's gonna start saving the images, unmounting the image, updating the deployment package, and then once everything is completed, you should get this nice little dialog box stating media created successfully. Click OK. Once you click OK, you are able to go inside deployment packages and you are going to see your deployment package that we just created. And that's it, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to punch, elbow, and smash that subscribe button to get the latest and greatest from this guy. And I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out. Why, hello, welcome. So if you guys are tuning in to the Smart Deploy uh, mini series that I have been creating for you guys, believe it or not, uh, I could get you guys a awesome deal. On your desktop, we are going to open up our favorite browser. I'm gonna open up Google Chrome. We're going to type in smartdeploy.com forward slash BTNHD, hit enter. It's going to take you here and you are able to get a free license to manage 15 machines for free forever. Just click on that button that says get free licenses. It's gonna take you here. You're gonna enter your business email address and hit that get subscription button. And once that's done, wait about three days, you will receive an email from Smart Deploy to continue your subscription. And that's it.